Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nicola Marion, Aqua Splendor, aka. Uh, I want to make a, a video about uh, the fracting that I did. I did a video a couple of months ago and I want to make like an update uh, of something that I completely changed the, this fracting, which is this one. And I want to show you, show you like what I learned by doing the all-in-one aquarium. Like I have like my main aquarium is, main, uh, is made like that. I have like a, the small competition on the reef uh, that is made like this also. But I don't want it to make like a small tweak and because I, I had like a difficulty with some little things. And uh, I want like to just show you what I, the experiment I, I did. And so you can learn maybe something uh, because I learned stuff and uh, yeah, I wanted to show you. So yeah, if you didn't see uh, the video how I made that really simple uh, DIY frag tank, uh, it was cheap. I used like a filter, really cheap, Re it worked really well. Uh, I just like I need I don't have space and I, I need to do some questions So if you didn't see the video about the DIY frag tank, uh, make sure to go uh, to, to watch this video first And uh, it's gonna be on the commentary and description So let me show you the, the all-in-one aquarium that I made so far the, the concept and what kind of mistake uh, I did and what I want to modify it Alright, so this is my main tank and as you can see uh, the filtration the water goes here and then it goes on the back and it goes through those filters. I have the flask, I have uh, the carbon, activate carbon, and I have a GFO. And over here, if you can focus, uh, I have like the, the skimmer, I have the heater over here. So the water goes right like this, and then it goes back like that. And I have like a, a light for the green, like the, the Cheeto, the Ketomorpha. Uh, just over here, if you can focus. Just like that, and then it goes back to uh, this, and it goes back to the aquarium, like this over here, like that. And I have the pump, uh, the Tansy pump, also there. So that that tank worked uh, pretty well. Uh, it just the one of the the issue that I have is the the film, uh, the slim film uh, oil that is on the surface. It's hard to watch, but you can see this like a. All this dusty thing over here. So this is something I really want to, to improve and to have like the tap water go through uh, this uh, part. But it's a little bit tricky. Now this is my Nano Reef uh, Challenge competition. Right now it's a uh, cycling. But let me show you what I did. So it's uh, again, it's the pretty much like the same stuff. So I have the grill like that. It's laser cut this time because by hand I uh, didn't like uh, what I did and I want a clean look. And you have the output. And on the back. Honestly, it's pretty much it's hard to see, sorry, I don't have space, but it's pretty much like the same thing. I have the flask uh, with the carbon and stuff like that. I uh, have the heater and there's no skimmer on this one because I just do water change. And then at the end, there's the, the, the pump uh, CG. And this is the new frag tank. I made some education with this one. Uh, previously, I was using only the, this filter, the Fluvial 207. And it honestly it worked pretty well. It just I have doing some modification. I need to change stuff. I need to make space. And I didn't have I didn't want like I have a filter just in between. So basically this is a DIY all-in-one frag tank. Uh, it gets a little bit complicated with the names, but the principle are always the same. By the way, you probably noticed that the, the tank is a little bit uh, dirty. That is normal because I didn't want to clean. I wanted to show you with uh, some dust uh, how the, this, this uh, tank will filter. So the biggest modification I did was this part. So as you can see, uh, I made a simple hole like that. And that's it. the goal was to get uh, the, the surface of the water goes uh, in that place. So as you can see a little bit, if I can, with the camera focus, perfect. So you can see this is uh, the challenge that I had and I didn't know like what is the, the width that I need to know, in neither the, the height. So I did one try and it almost uh, worked perfectly, but I did a little, little tweak to improve and this is the result. And by the way, this is a tap water. I uh, just uh, do uh, some experimentation before I finalize the thing and I'm gonna clean up after that. So you can see uh, this again is the same kind of like acrate uh, filtration and I just put white and black it looked pretty dope like that I like that. The modification I made is on the side. So I put some of my uh, extra acrylic that I had and I put over here to prevent the water goes through those uh, place. So the only thing I do is just put it like a floss just like that in a U shape and that will just mechanically filter uh, the water like that. Then after that uh, I have the maybe for the activate carbon here and then I have 
the uh, maybe for the GFO. I always leave a little space like that and uh, to, to make sure that there's uh, the flow goes uh, pretty smooth. So the water goes here like that and you can see it, it filtered the surface of the water. So that was my goal and then it goes back in there and goes into that chamber. So this is the back here and as you can see this was one of the challenges that I had. Uh, I didn't know like what was the height that I need to cut down. I didn't want like to, to be here uh, because I want to float like to go here and that part need to be high, that part need to be low. So to make sure like it's uh, it skimmed the surface over here. And so I made a little modification, I cut a little bit more. Then after that it goes uh, to that chamber. And eventually this uh, the chamber will go just a slightly a little bit lower than that. Um, and here I'm using a bulkhead and it's really simple. As you can see, I cut a little bit the, the bulkhead that so it doesn't take like too much space because previously it was like the, the PVC was like to this point. Now something that is really different compared to the previous version is uh, previously when I had pr uh, evaporation it didn't really affect me because I just put water directly into the tank and that's pretty much it. Now that I have an all one aquarium, uh, there's like a small compartment with a written pump and the, the evaporation goes really really uh, fast. So I'm gonna have to use an um, ATO or like a gravity fed water. Uh, I'm gonna use maybe uh, this one, it's the Zureto AT ATO. Uh, I'm gonna, I might use this one. If I can make like a gravity fed water in preparation, I'm gonna use that. Uh, it just needs to be like a little bit higher than the rest, but it could fit uh, my both of my tank also in the future. So that's something I'm, uh, I'm gonna have to change. All right, so I just cut the pump because I didn't want to make a mess. So I wanna show you like what I did. It's really, really simple. Like if I want to clean the stuff, it's that easy. I just take the pump like that. So I have the tube. Just like that and I cut and this is the buck head that I was talking about. also by the way I always put uh, some coarse pad like that uh, on the bottom so it absorbs uh, some of the sound vibration and stuff like that so this is a bucket that I clean I clean the inside also so it goes like pretty smooth for the for this tube so it's really really that simple I just need to be careful to not uh, do a mess when I do my change or my maintenance but if I want to like to just put back the tube like that it's really that simple so I don't know if you can see but uh, the tube can go outside like that also uh, it's of course it's not like a super proof the, the, the water can go inside from here but it's really 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 small I'm not really scared that it, this tube will just like by accident go like that uh, I have to force a little bit so I'm not really scared so I cut until it I felt it was like uh, good enough and this is also another tricky part. The question is often like, where do you put the outflow in terms of the height and from the, the glass? And from what I learned, I prefer to, to put the output just slightly a little bit more to the centers. So there's no uh, like mess around uh, the, the, the glass because sometimes there's like uh, the water, it goes splash like that. And uh, for fresh water, it's not a problem, but with salt, uh, the, you can have like start to have like some little creep over time so it's always a good thing like to be careful a little bit with that so I prefer to put the output just a little bit uh, on the on the center and also the challenge that I had is what height that I need to put that output because you want to have like some agitation on the surface like that um, if I had to redo this again I will probably just put slightly just a little bit higher by maybe two millimeters um, but the problem if you go like too high uh, it will just create some like some kind of like bubble it will create some sound because the the, the water like wiggle on the surface so uh, honestly it's almost perfect uh, like I have some gas exchange at the surface like that so that's pretty cool
So the biggest modification I think I made with the sync is uh, the flow. So right now it, it goes like like that from the output and it goes in like that. But if you remember, I had like a, a Neuro 5 here. And, but the problem is that unit didn't work properly. Uh, it was overrating. Uh, I had like a really bad uh, unit. So that's why you didn't see any um, review about the Neuro 5 with me. Uh, I just, uh, it didn't work for me. So I had uh, I changed that. So I'm going to use the Reef Wave 25 and I'm going to make a review about this because this is the perfect pump, I think, for a frag from like an aquarium like that from uh, this, uh, this link. So I think this pump like will be really really perfect for this uh, kind of stuff. So I'm gonna make a like, review about it and uh, unboxing stuff like that setup. So I'm really looking forward for this one. A few moments later. All right. So uh, another thing, I just put back the the rack with uh, the Brightwell Brick Biomedia and uh, just inside. So uh, this is pretty pretty much like the heart of my system, I think. Um, and you probably noticed something just over here. So let me explain. There is an arm. I so I bought the Kessel mounting arm like that, but there is a catch, and it comes with the instruction and all this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate video just for that, so you can have some information. But here it is. It is a Kessel arm, but this is a Radian G5 Blue. What? What the heck? Yeah, here's the thing. Um, I don't like the the Kessel, uh, the the Ecotec Marine mounting arm. Like it's super huge. It takes a lot of space. Um, I'm really not a fan of this, uh, and I enjoy more the the look of uh, the this this tube like that. It's really simple, uh, and it's really good quality. Also metal. Uh, I play with it, and it's really it feels right. Um, and I put the Radian G5 Blue because it's a frag tank. And uh, I was like, you know what, the, this Radiant G5 Blue uh, XR15 will just fit perfectly for this tank. Uh, the only thing is, I think I might need to switch like that instead, uh, because I'm OCD freak, so I think I'm gonna need uh, to switch that. So what I did, I just used uh, some uh, line, fish, fish line, and I just attached the stuff like that. Uh, I did on purpose a little angle, slightly like that, because I didn't want to have like the light uh, in my face uh, too much because uh, this is my workstation so the thing is like when I work on my computer uh, I'm gonna have like all the, the light leaking like that uh, on me so like nope so I bought something else I'm gonna show you that there we go so I went to IKEA a couple hours ago and I bought some stuff I don't know if you can understand what it is uh, there is also those thing. I think this will give you like a, a hint. Um, so what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to put something to cover, like a, just a cloth like that, uh, just to cover the, the, the area, just like that, uh, probably until to this uh, level, I think. Uh, so there's no light leaking to this uh, to my, my workstation. Uh, so this is a way to put so I'm gonna just add like a 90 uh, degrees angle uh, on the ceiling so uh, It's gonna be I'm just going to take the stuff put it back like that and because there is some Reading like that and uh, yeah, really uh, was I think yeah, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna buy that uh, and those freaking thing they cost four dollar each uh, they go to like the end of the 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 real like here so let me just assemble the stuff i'm gonna put that all on the ceiling and with the power of edit
All right, so I think I'm done. Finally, it's 9:30 in the night, and as you can see, if uh, let me try for the first time, I'm gonna just turn on uh, the light. Got everything. On the top. Yes. Oh. Ah. All right, so um, there's another bug uh, with the application, but um, as you can see, I have the light in my face. It goes to the computer. All I have to do. Is this. Okay. So what do you think? Is it good? Um, I don't know if that inspired you or something, uh, but I really like uh, this uh, this stuff. Uh, I'm glad that I just assembled back uh, all of this uh, together again, and I. I can't wait to put finally some frags, uh, some coals into that tank. So what do you think about this uh, this uh, frag tank, this setup? Uh, if you're looking for a crime that is more simple, uh, just watch the, the first video. Uh, it's, it's way more simple than that. Uh, but this, honestly, for me, for my knees, uh, kind of cool, kind of cool. And for the beef wave, uh, I'm going to do uh, the unboxing setup, blah, blah, etc. Uh, I'm gonna put the, the link below. Uh, I'm not really yet to put uh, that uh, beef wave like uh, just here. I, I leave a gap here, just in case, for that. Uh, but uh, we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna just enjoy the tank just like that. So let me know what you think about this uh, fright tank. And thank you for watching. Bye bye.